In this GuideCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to customize the block generator. Before watching this tutorial, I recommend watching the block generator and creating symbols tutorials, if you haven't done so already. As you can see, I have three components on my sheet. Components that I use the block generator to create. A drive, a PLC, and a DR module. You may also notice that all three blocks are slightly different. The terminals on the drive are closer together than the terminals on the other two components. And the digital input module is not as wide as the PLC or the drive. This is the template used when creating any type of component using the block generator. You may notice that this looks similar to the components that I have on my schematics. The template doesn't have any terminals though, because it's only a template. If I expand the properties of this template in the tree view, you get the idea that many aspects of this template can be customized. This would affect future components you create using this template. You probably won't want all the components you create using the block generator to have the same layout. You'll want them to have some differences like the components shown here for example. This is easy as we can define templates for specific component classes. These three components were created using three different templates. That's why they don't look the same. Let me show you what I mean. I'll click on the block generator tab and select open template block for class and select DR module. This is the template used for all DR modules when creating a DR module using the block generator. By the way, you can open a component template directly by selecting it and clicking open template block for class. For example, this is the template for PLCs. Let's close it for now. You may notice that the DR module template is narrower than the component template. Which is why a DR module is narrower than other components. From here we can make changes to the template, which will affect all future DR modules we create using the block generator. To change the width of the block, Click and drag the box to make it wider or narrower. Let's make it a bit wider. To change the spacing between the terminals, expand the properties of the template in the tree view and find the property called Auto Creation Channel Spacing. This is currently set to 4, which means that the terminals are 4 grid steps apart. Let me show you what grid steps are. I'm going to show the grid. As you can see by the dots on the grid, the terminals are four grid steps apart. Let's say I want to increase the distance between the terminals to a distance of six grid steps. We'll see the results of this in a moment when I generate a new module. There are many other properties to customize, but I'm going to leave them alone for now. Once you're done customizing your template, select it in the tree view, and under the Home tab, select Close. Save the changes. SkyCAD will then ask if we want to add this template to the library. Click OK. If we expand a folder and click OK, an icon for this template will be added to this folder so that we can add it to our schematics later on. But I don't want that, so I'll click Cancel. Save to Catalog. OK. 
Now that our template is saved, any DR module we create from now on using the block generator will use that template. So let's go ahead and make one. Here I've already prepared a new DR module waiting to be generated. Let's generate it and add it to our schematics. As you can see, the DR module we just created was created using the new template. So the block is wider than previous DR modules and the terminals are spaced further apart. Keep in mind that if you want to modify components that you've already added to the library, let's take this one for example, select the component and select open block from the home tab. From here, you can make any modifications and save them as we did with the previous template.